Hey guys, Barb from TST Industries here. In this video, we're gonna show you the installation of the TST Industries Gen 2 flasher relay on a 2003 to 2006 Honda CBR 600 rr This is a plug and play component. The kit comes with a special plug that enables you to remove two wires from the bike's harness, insert them into the plug, and achieve plug and play configuration on the relay itself. This component fixes the hyperflash condition typically caused by installing aftermarket LED signals or an integrated tail light. This is a fairly simple installation and we will begin the procedure by removing one of the front body panels. So this step will begin with the disassembly of these two fasteners here. And in addition, there's another rivet type fastener on the inside of this panel here that needs to be taken out. All right. So in the next step, we will need to remove two clipping features between these two panels. To do that, we'll pry away these two components, pry this panel this way until this little feature clears and that will allow this whole panel to come out this way after you press it down like so and now we'll take this entire panel and move it towards the rear of the bike and that will clear this clip fastener here from here and now we can put this to the side and uh, we will now be concentrating on this plug. There's a gray and a blue plug here. We'll be using this blue one. So we will remove it from the harness here and proceed to the next step. So now we'll need to grab this male portion of the plug and locate the two wires that we will be removing. If you look at it from the side where the clip release is located, you can turn it over 180 degrees and look at the top row here. We will be removing the second one from the left, which is white with a green stripe and the fourth one from the left, which is solid gray. So to do that, we will need to unclip this locking feature here. That is done by using a small flathead screwdriver and inserting it into little slots here, prying up on either side. And that will pop up and you can withdraw it back. Now we will need to take this screwdriver and go into the front here. So keep keeping track where the white and green wire is. We will insert this screwdriver down into here and that releases the pin. Allow us to pull it out. Now we will, we will do the same for the gray wire. So it's fourth one, it's the fourth one in this row. Again, there's a little clip in there, sort of like a ratcheting surface. It needs to be pressed down to release. And now the gray wire comes out, okay? Now that we have these two wires taken out, we will replace the locking feature on the plug, making sure that none of these wires come undone. And uh, we will replace the male portion of the plug in the female. All right, so now we will actually begin the assembly of the relay 
onto the harness. The little plug that came with the relay, we'll plug it in and we will take the gray wire that we removed from the plug and insert it into the middle slot on the plug. Make sure that it engages onto the pin on the relay. I'm gonna bottom that out. All right, and then we will look inside the plug and identify the other slot that has a contact in it. And we'll take the white with green stripe wire and insert it into that pin. At this point, I will test the function of the signals. So it looks like the relay is fully functional. It's flashing at 85 cycles per minute, it's preset rate. I will now show you how to adjust the flash rate on this relay. We need to gain access to the electronics. So we'll pry the gray cap off the red component here. And we'll slip out the circuit board. Plug it back in, making sure that the wires are still engaged. And we'll turn this little potentiometer clockwise to slow down the flash rate and counterclockwise to speed it up. This will enable you to dial in the flash rate that you'd like. And uh, if you don't want to go through this procedure, you can just leave it as preset by the factory. And that will be 85 cycles per minute, which is the OEM rate. Once you're done with the adjustment, you will slip this cover back over the circuit board, making sure that this channel on the side that has the clip on this gray housing slips over the actual circuit board, just like that. Everything snaps back into place and you will now make sure that all the contacts are bottomed out once again so that these wires don't come loose. Now we will arrange the relay on the bottom of this blue plug like this. We use a zip tie through the clip and around the blue plug. We'll just get it a little snug for now and we'll take care of tightening it later. And now we will make sure that these wires are locked in place and they don't come loose. So we'll use another zip tie around the wires going to the relay and the blue plug. We'll lock them together and this we can go ahead and tighten right away. We'll snip off the excess and now I will tighten up the relay itself. Now this relay sits really tightly on the plug and it won't remove itself from the wires. We'll cut off the excess. We'll make sure that this whole plug and relay assembly fits over the air duct in between the air duct and the fairings here so that the fairing panel that goes here can be reinstalled. So now remember, this feature has to get slid in first and then following that, these two clips need to be inserted into the mating geometry on the tank fairing. And then the rest of these features here get inserted behind the bodywork. And um, this clip here gets inserted under this panel. So let's do that right now. We'll insert this onto its mating geometry. Okay, everything seems to be in place. Now all that remains to be done is the replacement of 
this screw fastener and the two rivet type fasteners, one here and one behind this panel. And then this job will be complete and you'll be ready to ride.